Good afternoon. Today we're going to do a little uh, uh, Asian food. Um, uh, we're going to do a soy ginger um, chicken thighs. Now, uh, what we're going to do is I've got uh, some uh, stir fry oil down in the bottom of the pot, Instapot, and I've got the uh, Instapot on saute. And I got about six uh, thighs that I have uh, trimmed fat and uh, cut, cut up in bite-sized chunks. And we're going to stir fry this real quick, right? All we're going to do is just change the color. And then we'll add all the other ingredients and, and uh, um, seal it up and cook for a little bit. Now, this uh, sauce that I'm going to put in here uh, was actually a dipping sauce that uh, that I got some time back. I uh, can't remember where I got it from. Um, so, uh, but I remembered off the top of my head what it is. Okay, while that's browning up, I'll uh, talk to you about the uh, uh, the dipping sauce that we're going to use. All right, here we go. See that? All right. What well, what we got in there is uh, a half a cup of uh, uh, soy sauce, and I use a low sodium sauce. Uh, about a quarter cup of uh, rice wine vinegar. About two tablespoons of uh, grated ginger, but I use uh, the bottle, uh, a squeeze type. And uh, uh, what else do I got in there? Oh uh, yeah, two uh, about two tablespoons of uh, uh, gar uh, minced garlic, two teaspoons of sugar, and uh, a teaspoon of uh, sesame oil. I don't think I'm gonna need the sesame oil uh, because of the uh, stir fry that I got in there. To get it all browned up, see in a little bit. I'm, I'm gonna brown it up and uh, get back with you. All right, we uh, got it uh, from pink to white in color. We don't actually. Well, saute it till it's done. We're just trying to change the color of it just a little bit. And then we're going to add the uh, uh, a dipping sauce to this. Uh, what I'm doing is I, as I go, it seems to me like it's a little easier to clean up afterwards is to uh, stir a little, let it cook a little bit, and then come back and uh, move it around to where you can see the bottom of the pot and uh, scrub the yum yums off off it as you cook and i like to spin the pot while i'm working on it too the the ring of this hot the, the ring of the pot is not hot but when you put it under pressure and cook with it it is hot but well, right now it's not but i uh i got some tough hands so I welder all my life so i don't suggest you doing what i'm doing okay into that we're going to put the uh uh, the sauce and uh, I'll put the uh, uh, recipe in the uh, uh, description below. Now, stir it up good. Make sure everything's all covered up. Okay. And to that, we're going to add one 
onion that I've cut up in a, in a wedge form. And that's just going to sit up there on the top, just like that. And then I've got uh, uh, a, a 16 ounce bag of uh, carrots, sliced carrots. Okay? Just put them on the top right now. Okay. It's not gonna take very, it's not gonna take long to do it. It takes longer for it to uh, come up to pressure than it does to cook. But I tell you what, you can't beat it. You can't beat it. Alright. Here we go. All right, put the lid on, and uh, there we go. We're going to close the vent and put my little gizmo on here. I like this little gizmo. All right, now we're going to put it on pressure for six minutes. After that, I'll be back. The pressure has been released. Let's see what we got now. Open it up carefully and let the steam go away from you when you open it up. it up show you what it looks like there we go this is uh the finished product i hope y'all enjoy this video i enjoyed making it for you invite somebody to your table make a memory put a smile on somebody's face this is joe papa joe's cooking i'll see you next time